And welcome back guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm the Leviathan and let's continue on with the rest of the game. Uh, where we last left off, we had beat the Fire Sanctuary finally and whooped Gohirahim's ass and now we are back in uh, Skyloft preparing for, well, probably going to be what is the end of the game. Um, let's go to the guy and see if we can fix any shit. Probably not, I'm probably missing a few things. Uh, let's see what we can upgrade. We're just kind of just gonna prepare for our last bit of the game and see what else can I upgrade you? Nope. It seems like I need tumbleweeds from everything I fucking need. Yes, yeah, eat tumbleweeds. Hornet larvae and my shield. Let's see more tumbleweeds. I probably should um. I'm gonna repair my shield though. Hold on, now you changed your mind. Will and all the all right. Why not? Actually, you know, I don't really care. Let's, um... You, sir, do you have anything new? Doesn't look like it, to be honest with you. It looks like you ain't got shit for me right now. Um... I guess I can, I guess I can get some potions, though. Um, yeah. That's the heart of blah, 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 blah. I know. And I will pick some up. Why not? For my adventure. Considering I'm completely maxed out now, I gotta spend that money somehow. Alright, that's cool. Well, I'll take another potion, too. There's a bad heart potion, blah, 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 blah. All this boring shit you guys gotta deal with, I apologize for. I don't have an empty bottle. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I have a fairy. Okay, well, that's good. That's fine with me. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, welcome to my humble little side business over here. I infuse the potions my wife sells as ingredients, blah, 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 blah. Sure. This is the potions you currently are carrying that confuse. And I don't have any blessed butterflies. Whatever. Well, that was a big waste of time. Uh, going for two minutes since I've been wasting time. Alright, well, that appears to be really all I'm gonna get. How am I going for ammo? No, I didn't call you, sorry. Um, let's see what we got here. No, let's look at our map real quick. No, stop. Here. Um, I guess, I guess I could buy some Deku seeds. Why not? Uh, sure. Why not? Pretty expensive, but whatever. Ten Deku seeds. And some arrows, probably too. Ten arrows. All right, whatever. Alright, yeah, I know I'm always right. Fuck off. Um, I could have sworn there was a there's a chest that you could unlock, but I see I don't have the, uh, what? Master Levy. This treasure chest looked like a blah 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 blah. Okay, well, thank you. I knew that already. That's why I was, you pretty much did all the speaking for me. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go talk to... Um, we'll go to Beetle's airship and see what he's got for us. And then we'll drop down below. Because that's pretty much it. Well, actually, no, we're not going to. Because there's a couple actually other um, chests we can open. I just want to not have... I just don't want to lose all my money beforehand. So let's... Uh, where are you, Beetle? Around here somewhere. What the hell is that fool? Should be around here someplace. He's always around here. Watch, I bet you he's not even gonna be around. Oh wait, he's right in front of my face. Oh, come on, stop. Shoot it. Scatter shot, jeez. Alright, Mr. Beetle, let's see if you got anything good for me. Come on, jump up. So we're pretty much approaching the end of the game. I, I honestly don't know what's in store, but we pretty much, we've we have the true master sword now, I believe. So right, let's see what you got for me. A heart container. Do I want to buy it? 
Depends on how much it is. Oh, you have great taste in things. Isn't it shiny? I found it someplace nearby. To be honest, I have no idea what it is, but I don't even have that much. What a prick. Um, what is this one? Bug medallion. I might buy that, depending on how much it is. Uh, sure. Why not? You got a bug medallion errors when you marked with the... Well, that, that was useless. Alright. Well, that was that was great. Cool. Well, I probably should have bought another adventure pouch. It's whatever. What do I have on my on me anyways? A fairy, a life metal. I mean, the life metal is good to have. Alright, well, let's go ahead and leave this place and go where we need to be. So, time to jump off. See you kids later. Wait, is that gross? Oh, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, I wonder where she's gone. Excuse me? Oh, I'm so worried. It's a word. What's wrong? Oh, Levy, you really want to hear about all my troubles? That's kind of you. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come home yet. It was getting late for her to be out, so I went looking for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. I just hope nothing has happened. I'm worried sick thinking about it. Hey, Levy, would you mind helping me look for her? She says she was curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I suspect somewhere in the southwestern sky. I'm counting on you, Levy. Well, I'll go check that out when I've got the time to, but right now I've got the world to save, so... Let's go do that. And it'll probably give me more of those thingies, um, whatever the fuck they're called, I don't remember what they're called. The, um... Kindness crystals, whatever the fuck, I don't, I don't remember what they're called. But, no. I'm gonna go down here and see what's going on. Probably pushing the end of the game, we'll see. Hot cha. Now I wanna drop down to the sealed temple. Point to your preferred location. And that would be. Holy waterfall, in the woods, the great tree, viewing platform. Find the temple, sealed grounds. That would be it. Yes. Hopefully this is the right area that I dropped into, so I don't have to walk a thousand feet. Alright. Let us go. Now where it's over here, I believe, yeah. I'm glad I sealed that monster away too, that was also good. Um, yeah, this, yeah, those are the doors right there. Alright, let's go in and do what we need to do. Should be right. Because our, our sword is completely finished and ready to go. Oh, hello, peoples. Hi. Ah, your sword. There can be no doubt the sacred flames have purified this blade. Well done, Levy. That sword holds tremendous power. That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old, the same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you to see that same great power now flowing through you in the sword you carry. Come, Levy, you must now open the gate of time. Yay. Now the sacred force dwells within your blade. Strike the gate of force, the gate of time with your skyward strike, and it will surely awaken. Okay. Climb upon the pedestal, show the gate your sword's power. Oh, I'm gonna show it, all right. Yeah. Let's do this. Well, that would be that. Whoa ho! No, I fear the seal has given away once again. That terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that monster has reacted to the power, sacred power given off by your sword. Well, it should not have happened, but there was no other way to open the gate. So it goes. Levy, you must imprison that beast once again. God damn it. Alright, bring it on. This is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. Trust me, this flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm headed out there. Alright, Gruz, if you want to help, that's fine. Alright, let's do this thing. Hope it's going to be as easy as last time. Because I ain't got time for games. Alright, let's see what we got here. I have a feeling it's going to be a bit tougher. But then again, hey, lover. 
Doho, try not to drool on your shirt if you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it the Grusinator. It leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much I put into it building this beauty. Here, check it out. First, I got all the fences cluttering the area out of the way. Then I laid down the rails for her to run on. All by herself, of course. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know? Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots, and I'll put a hurting on that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are. You're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Hang on, though. That monster show showed up a gr smidge sm sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I've put down. I'll call out to you when she's ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast. Well, shit. Where's it at? I do not see it. How much higher is it? Mr. Beast. Where the hell is it at? Is it way up there? Is it down here? Oh, I see. I have to come down here again. Damn it, these seals just don't hold. The imprisoned. Oh, fuck you up. He's probably gonna. I wonder if he'll look different this time. Nope, same guy. Same weird looking beast. Hello. Alright, well. The imprisoned. All right, Mr. Prisoned. Seems, oh yeah, he definitely seems a little bit, uh... Look at that, seems our ugly friend grew himself a pair of hands. Great timing. I hope it knows how to catch it because my machine has a mean right arm. When she's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do what you can to stop it. Ah, oh, well, this seems... very unfair. Ah, shit. This may be bad. I'm trying to do what I can to stop it. I guess we're, I guess we're not gonna get that, uh... I guess I'll jump on it again. What up, dude? Oh, I stupid. What'd I do? Ah, oh, shit. Did I do something wrong? Oh, God, he's trying to climb. Don't climb. Hey, Levy, the machine's all loaded and ready to smash. If that flabby skin skin tries to climb the wall, I can blast it off from here with a bomb. But you want some backup from me, just signal with that. Alright, it's time for Bruce to explode into action. Adjust the machine's position, aim, target, once in the This. If you forget the controls, press 2 at any time. Ah, shit, okay. Did that work? Ha, ah, she packed a mean punch, doesn't she, I tell you. I was in love the first time I pulled this lever. I'll start loading her back with another bomb, so keep beating on that other thing until I give you a signal. Alright. I will attempt to. I'm assuming I have to jump on its head again. I mean, that, to me, that seems like the only real thing I have to do. Just don't be stupid this time. Actually, do it right. Oh, you stupid fuck. Why would you... Ah, uh, I fell off again. It's definitely moving a little bit faster than I thought. Oh, hamburgers. Oh dear. I'm not doing too well. It's fine. I was on it before. Boom. Right in the fucking dome. Now, I don't know if I have to hit it. Like. Okay. Stop falling off. No, stop. Okay, there we go. I understand. So, we just gotta stun it more times this time. And, it, and it's kinda hard to do when it's, uh, moving. I gotcha. And it's alright. Calm down. Now I just gotta get ahead of him. Now, I wonder if I can move on him while he's moving. I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a hard thing to do. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I may not even need him if I can keep this up. Alright, come on, stupid. Alright. Oh god, he's gonna move. Ah, shit. 
Well, that didn't work. He's definitely moving a lot faster than what I wanted him to do. Oh, this may not be good. This may not be good at all. Piss. Oh, piss. Oh, piss. Oh, piss. I have to go up a level. I gotta stun him. Stop him. Oh, good. At least he's walking in. Oh, see, I couldn't even attack him now if I wanted to. Hopefully it's only three times and then that's a charm. Come on. Where are you at? Right there. Come on. I gotcha. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Fuck. There we go. Right in the fucking face. It's good. It's real good. Because it's right where I need him to be. Please tell me that was it. Oh, I think it is. Good. Well, that wasn't that hard. Wasn't hard at all. Yeah, I did it. I had a feeling I was going to have to do that again. It's just how something kind of told me I had to. And now he's fine. And it's very quiet. Is there, like, no way to kill that thing? You can only imprison it? Sweet. Let me guess I'm going to have to go down back to the bottom and do a thingy again. I has a feeling. Alright then. Now Levy, strike the ceiling spike with this skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Alright. I know the ordeal. I wonder if I waited too long if it came back out again. Cool. And that shouldn't do it. Ooh, a different symbol this time. Looks like an hourglass. Either way, I like it. Maybe it's a stronger seal this time. Because I have a different sword. Yeah, it looks like a stronger seal this time. Well, hooray! Nice work there, lovey. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me, but no need to thank Bruce. I know I saved your tail. Actually, you did help me out. So I thank you for that. Now, let's get that gate of time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. Okie doke. I'm all the way down here again. It's alright, I've got some fancy-dancy airlifts for your traveling needs. Alright, and this one? Alright, where am I at right now? Um, I guess one more. Um, restriction. Oh, over there. Damn. Well, that's pretty cool. I definitely. I don't know how the hell Gross me. Uh, Gross made this thing. I almost called him Gross. Uh, Gross made this thing, but I'm kind of happy that he did. It's like a trolley. I wonder if I can mess with it. Let's see. Nope. There's no bombs left in it. I'd launch myself if I felt like it. All right, well, let's go. Okay. Finally, let's do this. Hope it doesn't open the seal again. All right, now. It seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster again. Yes, yes it was. You have my thanks, Levy. As do you, Groose. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two hadn't been here. <laughs> oh, you give me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy in what I'd, into doing what I could to help. <laughs> I did what it was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Mm. Levy, you must wonder what, it's, what it is you've been fighting out there in that great pit. There is much I could tell you, but my, but, su but, bah, but suffice to say it is the root of all the evil we face. When you pass the gate of time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and reseal it in his prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter the bonds that confine it. Such is its awesome power. We must destroy it at its source, or suffer this fate again and again. 
There's no time to lose. Hit the gate with a skyward strike. Come on already. Charge that sword of yours. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Right on, Granny. Indeed. Now, Levy, go. Go to the gate. Okay, let's try this again. Yay, I did it. Let's see what happens. It's like Tetris. Whoa. Please tell me I don't have to like formulate something like I did with those doors. Keys to the doors. Or is it just gonna make a walkway of sorts? Very cool looking. Pretty badass. Oh, it's kind of like that door where the other gate was time was broken. Fancy. Like future. Oh, look, we got the three powers too. Well, I did it. Oh. Do not fear it. This is what we've been waiting for. A la long last, the gate has been reactivated. Mm. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It's a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Levy. If everything is as, is, as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. Okay. No, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, Levy. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit, and Granny here keeps yapping on and on how we never know when it might burst free again. Someone's gotta stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me. Well, good for you. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? I think he just likes Granny. And you know what? No, I'll forget about it. Oh, what were you gonna say? When you see Zelda, tell her I said what's up. Will do. I like you, Grus. You were kind of a fuck before, but it definitely grown on me. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this thing? Just walk into it? Blue sky do, we can too. Oh, so it is a portal of sorts. Crazy. Trippy as hell. Glad I'm not on any drugs. Good, 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 good. Well, now where am I? Temple of Hylia. Oh, hello. Hey. At last, I've been expecting you, Levy. You are doubtlessly overwhelmed, so I can will explain things as simply as I can. This is the Temple of Hylia, though it will come to be known as the Seal Temple sometime in the future. When you stand in the past ages before your own time, here the goddess Hylia has only just sealed away demise. And little time has passed since the goddess sent the overcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. Mm. It is true to its name, you have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You have many questions, but for now, you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person you've risked life and blood to defend for waits for you. 
Okay. Out these doors? Okay. Hello. About time. You've come so far, Levy. I'm glad you made it. I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about that war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to be all too real. I think it's time you've learned the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Demise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used her power to send both them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home of our people. In time, it became known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess Hylia succeeded in sealing away Demise. However, soon after the Demon King was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with the Demon King. She knew if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hylia devised two separate plans and set both of them into motion. He's like, oh, crazy shit. First, she created Phi. She made the spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose, to assist her chosen hero on, her mission, on his mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul into the body of a mortal. That's me, right? She made this sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by gods, all of its power could never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers in her immortal form. You've probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Levy? You are the chosen hero, and I, Zelda, I am the goddess reborn as a mortal. I had a feeling. That's good. Damn, you're skinny, Impa. The day of the ceremony, Gahirohim's tornado po tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I rescued it. I was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the sacred grounds or sealed grounds. I had no memory of all of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. She helped me remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray at the goddess's statue located in each temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories within me. After I visited the mall, Impa, an agent of the goddess, led me here, to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in his hideous state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him at any cost. That is why I intend to remain here in this time and place, to sustain the seal as best as I can. As long as I continue this vigil, we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. <laughs> I must maintain the seal that Hylia, rather than I, created so long ago, and keep it strong for as long as I am able. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can now see this is my purpose. <laughs> Levy, the goddess created Phi in the Great Blade she's part of for very specific reasons. For the task of standing against Demise in the monstrous form he now assumes rests solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that, Levy. During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom from solving the devious puzzles and traps. You gained power by honing and tempering both yourself 
and your sword. And by overcoming the trials set before you by the goddess, you found true courage. Now that those qualities reside in you, you are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the Triforce. Yay. On my hand. Do it. Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far into your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage, and for this I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens this land. Ooh, we're gonna get an even better sword now. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend, and that within you dwell sacred powers. It is the mark of the Triforce. Stand now, Levy. Draw your sword. I know that sound. The true Master Sword. The goddess has blessed your blade, and the Master Sword has at last achieved its ultimate form. The sword is now imbued with the mythical power to drive back demons, and only Levy may wield it. Shing, sparkle, sparkle. Levy, before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to vanquish Demise once and for all. The problem is, among the countless souls in this world, only a select few, those with an unbreakable spirit, can wield its might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the old gods created the Triforce, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it so that only their own kind could never use its power. Somehow I think they may have their own way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of the land. Which brings us back to you. To face demise and give the land hope, the goddess highly I needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. That someone is you, Levy. Yay. But spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself, so that you could wield that supreme power. And so Hylia, I mean, and so I. I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger without even a moment's doubt. I. I used you. Aw, shit. Way to go. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you into all of this, Levy. But you have to understand this is a war. And the fate of the lands hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. All that may be well intended and true, but doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't excuse my actions. But I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To ensure the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. It's like Sleeping Beauty? Why would you do that? Lovey, I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. That's okay. But until my memory of the things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. Aww. <laughs> Can we end this cutscene? Jeez, I'm running low on time here. Oh no. While it's true that I am highly reborn, I'm still my father's daughter and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. Aww. When Demise is finally gone, there will be no need for the seal that binds him, and then I'll be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids, I'm always the one to wake you up when you slept in. But this time, when all this is over, will you come to wake me up? Of course. Ninety night. <laughs> Calm down, Link. Oh, don't cry. Just go beat the guy. Just go, just go kill Demise, and then she'll be awake, and you will have fun together. She's like encased in amber or something. It's like dinosaur fossil.
Come on, on with it, jeez. I'm running low on time here. 35 minutes in. It's an extra five minutes. Alrighty guys, well that is all the time I have for today, so, or for this video at least. In the next episode, I'm going to continue on and go fuck up that guy demise and free our Zelda, but until then, until then, thanks for watching guys.